Hello, Internet, and welcome to this week's incredible episode of the Two Geeks, Two Furious podcast. We are your hosts, Caleb Berman. Zach Berman. Caleb, I screwed the pooch last week. Uh, all right, how so? I was supposed to tell a story. Right. I didn't. So I'll tell it now. All right. Um, actually, I'll start with something that happened yesterday. <clears throat> Build up to it. So yesterday, I go out into the... Uh, the garage, right? To get a drink because I treat myself sometimes to Coke, but I had vanilla too to make it vanilla Coke. Right. So I go out there and I get the Coke and I go into the kitchen. I'm all happy and stuff. And so, you know, I, I make my drink and I'm starting to walk upstairs. And right before I hit the stairs, the dog pissed on the floor. (laughs) And so I slipped in the piss Oh, my God. Carrying a full glass of vanilla Coke, slip in the piss, fall into the piss, and get covered in vanilla Coke. Oh, my. That's disgusting. How did you manage to... Did it get everywhere? Yeah. It took me, like, 20 minutes to clean up. That is disgusting. Yeah. Isn't that terrible? Yeah. I did that. Anyway, so a couple weeks ago... This is my original story. A couple weeks ago, I'm driving down the street looking for a house... And so I'm driving pretty slow, my window's down, mm-hmm. and because I'm looking for the numbers mm-hmm. on the house so I can find the right one. And I notice out of the corner of my eye, there's a bunch of kids on the the driveway, you know, playing outside like kids tend to do. Right, right. And there's like there's three or four of them, and one of them's standing at the bottom of the driveway. The others are up on top. Mm-hmm. And I hear the one kid go, hey, guys, watch this. <laughs> so, so I'm like, oh, I'm about to get a treat here. So I look out the window, and I slow down almost to a stop so I can see what this kid is about to unleash. And so I look at him. I get a good look at him, and he's wearing football pads, and he's got a basketball. And he goes, I mean, he says... Hey guys, watch this. Puts the basketball down on the ground, winds his foot up, kicks it like it's a soccer ball right into one of the other kids' fucking face. Oh my god, I've already heard this story. It's hilarious. <laughs> that was the hey guys, perfect timing. Watch this. Could you imagine if I would have gotten there 30 minutes, not even 30 minutes, 30 seconds late? And you'd miss something. I would have missed something. Fantastic. (laughs) That's going to stay with me for the rest of my life. (laughs) Seeing that that kid wearing all variety of sports gear. (laughs) And I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, he also had shin guards on for soccer. (laughs) And he was like the fat one. (laughs) I wonder what those kids did to him afterwards. (laughs) I didn't see anything. <laughs> I think they just accepted it for what it was, a neat little trick. What about the kid who got kicked in the face with a soccer ball? It was a basketball. a basketball. I have no idea. <laughs> I really do not... Like, yeah, man, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I have no clue. No clue at all. So, yeah, those are the two things that have happened to me recently. Oh, my God. You went out of town, too, because we, we were in Austin. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Kayla's back, by the way. Yeah. It's, if you didn't it's, notice. It's me. I'm back. Where'd you guys go? Went to uh, Branson, Branson, Missouri, which I thought was going to be kind of boring at first, but it was actually pretty cool. They have all kinds of cool stuff there. What'd you do in Missouri? Uh, we did go-karts and putt-putt and went to an amusement park. And and one really cool thing we did, you know those things? It's like those big wire rig things, and they strap you in, and they, they, they yeah, drop sex you swing. like way up in the air and they drop you in like you swing like Superman. Oh, I thought you were talking about a... A sex swing? Yeah, like one of those leather swings in a sex dungeon. Oh my, no, not quite like that. I was like, I didn't... If I would have <laughs> known you guys were going out for some like dominatrix action, I would have gotten excited. <laughs> I'd be disappointed I didn't no, go. No, no, when, when they, they pull you up and they drop you and you swing down like Superman. It's, yeah, how was that? It was pretty freaking awesome. I we It took like hours and hours of pleading to get Ethan to go on it with us. He did? Yeah, yeah, he did. Yep. Our little... He's a little small. Wouldn't the G-forces crush him? <laughs> no, it's no, quick... but... All right, so, like, we finally convinced him to do this thing, and they strap us in, and 
the scary thing about it is when they haul you up there, and it's it's freaking high up there. Like I didn't think it was going to be that high, but I got up there and I was like, holy shit, this is pretty freaking. They're like a hundred, hundred and fifty feet or something. Yeah, right? yeah, something like that. And the thing is, when they had you up there, like. They don't drop you. It is up to you. You have a little thing next to you, and you have to pull it and drop yourself. Oh, my God. So I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I don't know if I'll have the stones to pull this freaking cord when I get up there. But I'm like, wait a minute. But if I do have the stones, I'm going to fuck with them. So I'm, so I'm like, so they're like, all right, w- which one of you guys is going to be on the, on the very right so you can pull the cord? I'm like, I'll do it. I'll do it. So it's me and Ethan and Dad. And Dad's in the middle because he's the... He's the biggest, and Ethan's on the very left, I'm on the very right, and I have this orange ripcord thing. And they pull us all the way up to the top, and we're like, oh, God, oh, shit, oh, my God, oh, what are we thinking? And I'm like, all right, guys, you ready? Here we go, five, four, and then right after four, I just pull it, <laughs> and Dad's like, oh, shit, as we, like, free fall. <laughs> it was the greatest. Damn. Uh, it, was, it, was pretty, it was pretty rad. Yeah, I've never done one of those. Yeah. Is you it should, worth man. it? Oh, it totally worth it. It was, it was amazing. I've done that, I've done some, I did, it was either Drop Zone or the Superman at Six Flags. Oh, I can't stand those things. Those are stupid, I don't understand I the, fu- there's no, I don't like the free falling thing. Yeah, I don't like, the, uh, I just, my, my shoe, my feet are just like free to do whatever and it scares me, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, when you're up there, it freaks me the hell out. is it like, you, you've got to make a choice. Yeah. You've yeah. got to be like, do I want this over quickly? Uh-huh. <laughs> or do I want to be like, hey guys, I can't do this, and then do it slowly yeah. as they slowly yeah. let you down, and then you've got to do the walk of shame back. And like, most so of So either it, one is equally terrifying. Yeah. Most of it is like, it's it's pretty all right. Like, it's it's like pretty much anything else. Like, like it's like, you go to amusement parks, you ride roller coasters, and what have you, blah, blah, blah. But as soon as you pull that cord, and like, there's... As soon, like that, that that first second when you drop and there's no and like the rope isn't taut or anything and for like a, a split second you're just it's like a hundred percent free fall and it's the most terrifying thing. It's like Jesus take the wheel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then after that it's it's all pretty cool, but uh it was Then big. it's just like a roller coaster once the Yeah. The strings hit. Yeah, it was pretty it was pretty cool. Huh. I'll have to do that sometime. Yeah. yeah. Find one somewhere. It was a fun trip overall, but I tell you what, I wanted to kill Ethan. What'd he do? Just like, oh could you imagine being in a car with that kid for like, all day? I was in the car with two children <laughs> for like, four hours. I'm sure they'll be very happy to hear you say that. They don't listen to the goddamn show. That's right, you did say that, yeah. Yeah, they listen to like two episodes. Yeah. Pricks. They're right, pricks. But yeah, it's like, Ethan, my little brother, his mouth never stops running. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm still covering. I'm going to kill you. Whatever. Um, anyway, this will be a good time to tell about the new thing we're going to do at the end of every episode. Right. Because I've got two of them this week. Mm-hmm. We're going to do a question of the week where I'll ask the question at the end of the podcast and then I'll post a status on the page and then you guys can answer it. And if we find any that are like answers we really like, we'll... Or answers that I'll make we'll, you for. We'll give it on the on the next episode of the podcast. But uh, the I'll end. save the real one for the end, but here's another one. What do you guys think of us, both of us, having a third guest every once in a while? So it'll be another three-way episode <laughs> because uh, it's a different sort of dynamic. Yeah. So yeah. let us know if you think we should do, like, every few weeks, maybe just have another person come in. Yeah, I got some ideas of some people I want to get on here, so. That one kid? That one, uh, the one kid who keeps asking, you mean? Yeah. Sure, man. I mean... If he says he's got interesting stuff, then if you're down... Does he listen? Do you know? I don't know. We're going to find out after this, I guarantee you. <laughs> yeah, we should. We could have him on and just, like, put him in control. Yeah, the, like, if he hears you asking people if we should have a third guest, like, there's no way he's not going to come up to me and be like, please, please! <laughs> yeah, um, and then, uh, shit. It's like, if you're talking in class and the teacher's like, you have something to say? You want to come up and teach class? Which I did once, by the way. Yeah. I did that once. Um, it worked out pretty well, and the teacher never, never gave me shit again. Yeah. Um, anyway, so, it's just sort of like, it's like that. It's just like, fine, you want to do it? You run the show. Uh, yeah, that happened to me once at school. Like, I was apparently talking during class, and she was, like, reading some presentation off the board, and this was, like, in my advisory class. You don't know what that means, but it means, like, I, 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 I know never... what it means. We I, had advisory every once in a while. Oh, yeah. Well, like, I'd never met this teacher before. She doesn't know me or anything. And she, like, 
She's like yelling at me. She's like, hey, Chatty Cathy, do you want to do this? She's like, read the presentation. Start on whatever line. And I'm like, I'm, I'm dyslexic. <laughs> and she's like, oh, oh. Uh, uh. And then she just kept doing her thing. You should have done, you should have just rolled with it. You're like, I'm dyslexic. I'll give it a shot. And then like, just, <laughs> and just wasted through everyone's it. time. <laughs> yes. And, and she's like, no, that's not, no, no, let me finish. Let, let please. Me, let me do this. My I mom can, says I can do it. My mom says I can do this. <laughs> yeah, just, like, stammer through the thing, take the entire class period to read, like, the first <laughs> slide or whatever. <laughs> and there are people in there I know. Like, they knew I was full of shit. Speaking of screwing with people, we went to a... I told about the thrift the thrift store we went to. Mm-hmm. Um, I got a... It's just a plain black shirt in the back in big, bold, white letters. It says staff. Like, some event. Yeah. So from now on, when I go anywhere... It's like an event. I'm going to wear that. Oh, that's so great. So then people come up and ask me things, and I'll give them, like, completely wrong directions. Oh, that's great. It's that's like, where's the bathroom? They're, like, right over there. But I'll be like, oh, they're go back towards the entrance, <laughs> and uh, you'll find them there next to the, uh, and they just, like, make something up. Yeah. Yeah, that's... I want to do that. Like, I saw that, and that was the first thing that popped in my head. That's really great. Just give people wrong directions at things. Yeah. So next time you have a thing at school for band, I should wear it. Yeah. Because yeah. somebody will probably ask me something. Mm-hmm. And I can get, like, a nice name tag to put on there. Right. Hi, my name is, and then put a fake name. Yeah. You should put, like, like some, like, celebrity name or something from, like, TV show or something. Something obs- obscure. Yeah. I could always go Sean Spencer, because he gives people fake names. Right. Uh, that one kid. Shit. Um, Tickle Kid. Creepy Kid. Uh, Steve from Blue's Clues. I think his name, Joe? Joe Musgrove? Joe. Yeah, um, you, can, I, you can blur out that last name, right? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I'll try it. All right. It'd be funnier anyway. Anyway, I had him convinced that my name was Sean Spencer. Yeah, for, yeah, you told me about months. that. That's great. Yeah, he called me Sean. <laughs> so, I don't, why were you so just intent on fucking with everybody? Because I was uh, I was upperclassman, or freshman and coming you, in. You, you could finally do it. Yeah, there was. Know, uh, maybe next year I'll, I'll get off. There's that one like kid, that. Jake. Real yeah. name Alex. Then there's Steve at work. Yeah. Also Dave. Steve Dave. Yeah. That evolved. <laughs> His name is Austin. Great. I actually call him Austin more now. Yeah. It's just too much work because for some reason, if I th- tried to call him Steve when Jay's there, I end up just calling him both Jay. Yeah. So I have to call him Austin. I don't know what it is. It's something weird with my brain. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's a thing. Yeah. Yeah, I just beat, uh, wow, that was, there was no segue to that. Segways are weird. He just beat something. I beat that South Park game. I really want to talk about it. Yeah. Because it's so good. There's probably still a bunch of people out there. Yeah, but I know, I've told a bunch of people I work with Mm. that they need to play it, so. Yeah. Everybody play that game. Seems pretty tight. Yeah. It's highly offensive and explicit. As it should be. It's it's tough. Yeah, it's worse than the show. Yeah. Um, I guess you can get by with more on a video game, right? Yeah, they they only censor it in like Australia. Mm, yeah, um, yeah, it's fantastic. And then I already told you I watched Kick Ass Two, right? Because Kick Ass One is awesome. Yeah, it gave me blue balls. Yeah, it's awesome. I guess it's. I don't really care for it. You're a dick. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm just all right. Oh uh, yeah, the second one gave me blue balls. Yeah, because it just it kept being like, oh, this is gonna be awesome, and then nothing. Yeah, it just everything builds to nothing. Like, every never, scene. I never read that one, and I wanted to read it before I watched it. I didn't even watch any trailers for it or anything. I'm going to go pick it up at Sci-Fi. Yeah, yeah. Oh, if you live in the Keller area, go to Sci-Fi Factory off of Golden Triangle and North Beach Street. I'm going to go buy some... Maybe they can plug us if we plug them. All right, then I shouldn't say what I was about to say then. <laughs> Anyways. They have great prices, right, Caleb? Great prices. Great prices. Their graphic novels are not incredibly overpriced. <laughs> <laughs> Despite what you may have heard. Yeah, I bought a uh, a graphic novel, Batman graphic novel. Right. Used? Full price. For like 16 bucks. Great deal. <laughs> <laughs> Great deal. Man, this didn't work out as you planned. <laughs> no, but, uh, oh shit. Just blur out the name of the place. <laughs> um, it's, of course, Cosmic Comics, what I'm talking about. Cosmic Comics. Actually, they have good prices. They have great prices. They're out in, like, Fort Worth. Yeah, they're forever Like, away. South Fort Worth. Yeah. Um, is there a shitty one around here that I can replace the name with? Dude, I don't know. They're really, they're, they're the best one around here, honestly. Just, just blur it out. Just, like, cut out the name, and then, and then people will get one. Well, no. 
Their prices aren't bad. Their prices are oh. just inconsistent. Their prices are just, they charge retail for everything, whether it's used or not. No, some of it's really good prices. Like, I bought a used legit book, mm-hmm. good price. I've bought graphic oh, novels there, used, good price. But for some reason, the popular ones are like, we can get away with charging full price for that one. Right. And then it says, like, used or whatever on the back. Right. Anyway, um, but their video games, it's like 90% of them are cheaper than GameStop. Yeah. And then, like... The other 10% are significantly more expensive. Yeah. All right. So, so I'm going to say this. I'm going to try and salvage what I was saying before. While I do think their graphic novels are incredibly overpriced, they have a very wide selection of just about everything else. They get every new book. They have a big video game selection. They've got all kinds of cool <laughs> merchandise and stuff. they got a lot of movies. I already say that. Yeah. Okay. Then video games. <laughs> Uh, keep, yeah, it's keep, a cool place. Keep talking about how great it is over at Oh, yeah, know, it's the greatest. I got something to do. Anyways, uh, I was going to ask Zach about this earlier. I guess I'll ask hey! him back. He's yelling at the dogs. I read online today that... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, yeah, I was just rambling a little bit. I was going to say this, but then you're on your way back. Hear that about uh, Incredibles 2? What? Pixar announced that Incredibles 2 is happening. No way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hopefully it's going to be good. No, it's not. <laughs> Come on, man. There's, there's good Pixar sequels. Toy Story 2 and 3, that's it. Yeah, so maybe this... Finding could... Dory. Are you kidding me? You don't know yet. It sounds so stupid. You don't know yet. And they keep delaying the shit out of it. it it'll be fine. It'll be... Uh, just as long as we don't... What bad Pixar sequels are there? Because there's Cars 2. Cars 2. Are there any other Pixar sequels? <laughs> Planes. <laughs> Do you hear anything about that? It's not actually Pixar. It was originally supposed to be Pixar, and then it was straight to DVD, and they're like, nah, it's not worth putting in theaters, yeah, but I we can was, make money off it of it. It was straight to DVD, but they, I guess they figured people would see it no matter what. It's not Pixar, though? Oh, wait. There's also Monsters University, which I have yet to see, but I heard it's good. I so I'm not going to judge it. I've right. heard it's fantastic, but I've seen parts of Cars 2. It is not worth anybody's time. <laughs> Cars 2, I'm pretty sure, is widely considered to be bad, but Monsters University, I heard, was good. I need to watch that. I almost picked it up at the video store the other day. I found a video store, Caleb. Let's oh, plug them. Let's plug Family this place. video off of Timberland. And Wait, it's Family Video? Yeah. That place still exists? Yeah. They had those everywhere when we were little. That was Hollywood Video and no. Blockbuster. No, I'm telling you, man. i never seen one until I was here. They're all over Keller. All right, well, I don't know. Finish plugging the place. Anyway, it's awesome. I don't know why I'm plugging that one. Yeah. I just, I just thought it would be fun. No, but I found it. Caleb, we're going to have so many movies to talk about now because they have everything. Yeah, yeah, there's a shit ton of movies I need so to So good. Yeah, so I, I got that. I watched Die Hard. That movie's pretty good. Yeah, I've watched... never seen that movie. Oh, it's so good. We should watch it after this. Yeah, yeah. It kicks all the ass. Got a freaking Alan Rickman, right? Yeah. The bad guy? Yeah. He's the bad guy. Bruce Willis. Yeah. Everybody loves Bruce Willis. Except, yeah. Except, Except Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith, yeah. Uh, but yeah, such a good place. It's pretty rad. I got a lot of movies I want to see that I don't want to like. Mallrats. Yes, oh, I've never. I can't believe I've never seen that. Like a lot of the in- inside jokes come from that. Tried to order it online. Okay, this is what happened to me yesterday. I tried to go on to the Tell Him Steve Dave merchandise store uh-huh. online. Right. Tried to order all their all their merchandise. That's three T-shirts and their puppet DVD. Right. So that's like $80 worth of stuff. I didn't realize that was like an official thing that they did. So I tried to buy it. Declines my credit card every time. And I can't access my PayPal account for some freaking reason. I have one. So if I tried to sign up again, and it's like, you already have one. And then I try to sign in, and it's like, this password's incorrect. So then I go, uh, I forgot my password. And then I type my email address in, and the next page, it doesn't even say. It says nothing. It just says, we can't do that. <laughs> did you get cut off somehow? Uh, I guess. I know I had, like, an, I overdrew it once three years ago. Uh-huh. So I guess I got to call those fuckers. <laughs> anyway, so we did that. So I tried to do that. So then I'm like, whatever. I'm like, maybe they have them on jayandsilentbob.com. Right. So go on to jayandsilentbob.com. And they don't. But Come on eBay. they have the... Uh, the special edition Mallrats signed by Kevin Smith for $26 right there. So I'm like, oh, I'll buy that. 
Caleb hasn't seen it yet. I want to watch it again, and it's got a commentary because Kevin Smith's commentaries are fantastic. Yeah. So I click on it, go to the checkout process, and it's like denied. No, it's like we don't have this anymore. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, well, I do. While I'm here, I do need a new Buddy Christ bobblehead. Right. They don't have that anymore. Well, Mine got ruined. I had it for everything? like I had it for three years too. Gone. So I'm like, okay, I'll just get the dashboard statue of Buddy Christ. Click on that. Gone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want to. I'm gonna call up Walt. Maybe I should call up Walt and be like, "What like, the fuck, man? Like, I'm no trying Walt. to give you money. That's Take what you love money, more Walt. than anything. You don't have anything I want." <laughs> yeah, uh, I think I. I'm gonna call Walt. Like, I'm gonna call him tomorrow. Do you think, you, do you think they'll answer? Yeah, they I always mean, answer. You see him. I mean, but I feel like after they got a TV show. No, you just call the store. Seriously? Yeah. I can fucking call up the secret stash and talk to one of them? Talk to Walt? You think Walt's gonna put up their shit if you're just gonna call him and be like, hey man, what's up? I, I, I'll put up with my shit. I'll call him and be like, oh my god, Walt Flanagan, I love you so much. And you're gonna call him and be like, yo, why doesn't your fucking website work? Yeah, so I. You think he's gonna on, take your shit? I went on to the Tell Him Steve Dave subreddit, and I was like, I'm having an issue with the merchandise. No matter what I try, I can't. It won't accept my card. And then, and How then, much money I throw at my computer screen? There's this guy, uh, get him Steve Dave, on Twitter, and that's his handle on Reddit. Right. He's actually on the show a lot. Well, mm-hmm. he used to be on the show a lot. Mm-hmm. He responded, and he's like, uh, uh, maybe it's something wrong with, uh, maybe your, your credit card company thinks that it's something suspicious. You should call them up, or just try PayPal. I'm like, I can't do freaking PayPal. No, I was like, thanks, get him. But I should have been. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, get him. So I, I'm thinking of... <laughs> just calling up Walt and being like, look, man, I'm trying to order all of your shit. Throw me a freaking bone here, man. He doesn't care about any of that stuff. He only does the show because freaking Brian wants to do it. No, he loves it now. But he doesn't care. I mean, I guess he cares about money, but... That's his big thing. He makes plenty of money now. So uh, I, there might be a way that I could just get him to, like... I don't know if he's if he runs the freaking Online merchandise. Store? The merchandise for Tell Him Steve Dave. Walt runs... I mean, uh, I think Ming runs everything that's online, right? I don't know. Whoever answers the phone, I'm going to be like, hey, man. Yeah. I need some help. Yeah. But isn't that bullshit? Yeah. Trying to order shit. That's so trying to spend my money. So trying to support bullshit. a show that I like. Two shows that I like. You should give us your money, guys. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you sunk that low already. <laughs> no, but what you guys can do to help us out is, uh, you know, comment on things. Like things. Yeah, none of that's ever happened. Come on, guys. Yeah, nobody does anything. Like, Share it. Yeah, come on. Not there was hard. a freaking bone here. But, um... There was a freaking bone here. But we can do start doing... One thing we can do to make them maybe... Maybe... Like, comment, subscribe, share... Blah, 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 blah... Is continue things that they dig. And they really dug Who's That Pokemon. Oh, God, here we go. Who's That Pokemon? And then uh, that was the, the theme song there. You hear oh, it? Yeah, yes. Sounds good, right? Right. It ripped straight from the show. You know, you already, you already revealed the secret last week that you don't actually have a soundboard that plays it live, so... Yeah, I know. All right, so they, are, they all know you're lying. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so we're starting where we left off last time. Caleb, are you ready? Sure. What's that one there called? Meow. Oh, man, you nailed it. Oh, wait. Yeah. That Persian? one? Persian? Persian. Jesus. That one? All right. I got a beef about these two. All right, so we got Gold... No, no. Psyduck. Yes. And then Gold Duck. Yes. Now, real quick, I'd like to point out that Gold Duck is blue, and Psyduck is gold. Yes. What the fuck? All Why right, not we'll Gold be... Duck and Blue Duck? That'd be better. Blue Duck? That's... This one here. I don't here. like blue balls. Um, that was dumb. Uh, Mankey? Yep. Uh, Rocky Balboa. Rocky Balboa? No, that's yep. Primeape. Okay. Well, he's a boxer. Oh, I probably should have saved Rocky Balboa for one of the other boxer ones. I don't know. One of the other fighting well, you're types. You're screwed now. This one. It was it like Growlithe or something? Oh, my God. All right, yeah. All right. That one. The big Growlithe, I don't think I know. So, like, cane? It's like, it sounds like canine, but it's not canine. It's like, I don't know. Let's go with canine. <laughs> Canine, it's Arcanine. Arcanine, ugh. Like Arcane? Yeah, I got it. That one. Poliwag. Oh, yeah. 
Poliwhirl, yep. and Polyrath. I know those ones. How do you know those ones? I don't know, because they all look the same, and they all have similar names. Oh, yeah. That one. Uh, is it Abracadabra and Alakazam? In yes. In that order? Yes. The next, those next three there? Yep, that one. Oh, my God. Why don't I know these ones? Because I know you had a trading card of one of these, and you, like... That one is... This one right here. What's his name? Okay. One of those three is Machamp. It's that one, the third one. All right. And that one's Machoke. Yep. And this one is... God. That's Machump. Machump? Machump. He's oh, my chump. God. You were so close. I don't know it's what that Machop. one is. Machop? Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Machump? Yeah. Because that's that's ma- <laughs> that's like Machop or whatever. And No, this one's... What's this one? Machoke. Machoke? That guy's a chump. Machump. That's actually a better name. Uh, I don't know that one, and I can't even come up with a funny one. I don't know this one. It's like a little freaking plant dude with a yellow head. Yeah. Um, I think I already used plant head earlier, right? Yep. Planty. Let's let's go planty. I don't know that one. What's that one called? Bell sprout. I think you. That's gonna give me a hint for the next one. That one. So the other one's Bellsprout. Yes. I know the next form is the one that, that Jesse had. No, James. The James had. Yes. Come on, man. It's not that hard. It is that hard. So the, the, the other one is... What's the first one? Bellsprout. 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 Oh, big Bellsprout. Big Bellsprout. I can't think of anything. I don't know that it's one. Weeping Bell. Weeping Bell. That one there. All right. We're going to call that one Rapey because it always rapes James. Like grabs it and shoves it in there. I don't know what those three were called, clearly. That's Victory Bell. Victory Bell. Alright. What's this one? Um Tentacool. Yeah. And the big one is Tentacruel. Oh man, nailed it. That one. Geodude. Mm-hmm. I don't know that one. The next one is Golem though. Yes. And the the, the medium sized Geodude is there's a lot of long pauses in this one. I got all day. All right, all right. Uh, give me a hint. Come on, give me some. Can't man. Damn. It's uh, cheating. What's cheating? Cheating's bad. You already gave me the answer to one earlier, like after I guessed, and then it gave me a hint for the next one. But then I didn't even, I didn't even get the next one. So. Yeah, but you know, see, the, you already know the first and the third stage. So. All right. So we got Geo Dude. Yes. It's not Geo something, is it? Nope. Damn, all right, then I don't even know. Boulder, that's boulder. I'm going to go with boulder, he looks like a boulder. That's graveler. Graveler, I never would have gotten that. <laughs> Wasting all these people's time. That one there. Oh, it's got a really pansy name. It's yeah. Like Pony, Ponyta? Ponyta, yes. And then we're going to go with Horsyta. Horsyta? I don't know what the big Ponyta is called. It's Rapid Dash. Wouldn't have gotten that one either. That one there. Slowpoke? Yes. It's got a really dumb name. I don't... Also, I don't understand how that is an evolved form of Slowpoke. It literally just got that tail bitten by, like, a thing. Um... Okay, is it Slowpoke? Mm-hmm. I feel like you're getting mad at me for these long pauses. No, I got... I mean, that's easy to edit out. All right, well, I got a lot. So we got Slowpoke... Very slow poke. Very slow poke? It's yeah. slow bro. Slow bro? That's Come on, bro. Funny. I was going to say slow Joe. <laughs> that have been better than very slow poke. Slow bro? I said dumb. All right, you might get this one. All right, are one of, one of these two is like Magnetron or something. No? Magnetron? Which one's Magnetron? Well, let's say that the one with three of them is Magnetron. That's not right. It's Magneton. Magneton? Oh, man. You were close. I'm just going to call that one Magneto. I don't know what the little Magnetron's called. I gave you a hint, subconsciously. I said you might get this one. That's Magnemite. Magnemite, you're an ass. <laughs> What's this one? Uh, see, this this one always seemed a little far-fetched to me. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> oh wait, you already got that one, right? Yeah. That one. Oh, God, I don't know these ones. Um, it's got a hint within itself and that one will lead to the third one I mean the second one I mean the fuck what? I'm getting confused wait is that an evolved form of Farfetch'd? no oh 
Okay, because you said third one. Yeah, I know. That's why I got. That's why I was getting frustrated because um, I, I misspoke. Uh, two heads and three heads. Two heads and three heads is do duo, do trio. Ah, uh, of course. Two head. As you guys probably notice, as we get farther and farther down the list, I what would the what would the third one have been? What would you have called that one? Forehead. If there would have been there, one. A, two I, head, three head, was, and four head. I wouldn't even know. That one. These two look exactly the same. You get this one wrong, you're a freaking idiot. Oh, isn't this one, like, I remember its name is just, like, the most obvious one. Yeah. It's like a fucking seal. Yeah. That's his name? Yeah. Seal. <laughs> Why? I don't know. But it's still spelled with two E's. What's this one here? Does it have seal on the name? No. I don't know the big seal. They look exactly the same. Just look at them. There's no difference. That no, you know it. Bad. You gotta give it a name. You know them. You know all of these. I don't know all of these. Yeah, you do. Just because I'm giving them names? Yeah, you're ruining the illusion. All right, fatty. Fatty? That's fatty. I don't know. That's a fat That's dugong. I didn't know that one. It's that one there. Is that one muck? Or is the big one muck? Or neither of them muck? All right, my official name for that one is muck. Damn. What's that one called? Grimer. What's that one? Muck? Yep. <laughs> Damn, they look exactly the same. So you got two mucks. They're both doing the, the, the little Heil Hitler thing. What's that one? Um, you know that thing on this one's tail? Yeah. It's that. Okay, I know the big one is cloister. Yeah, what's it look like? It looks like an oyster. It looks like a vagina. Oh, yeah, I'm, I wouldn't have gone that direction with that thing. It's got like a little scary face poking out of it, and it's all horny, so I mean, I guess you got that going for it. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to go into exactly what the parts are, but that's where you put the thingy. I, I got it, Zach. That's the other part. I got it. Oh, wow, that's it does. The, uh, it has a little... Yeah. It's got a little... That's an ongoing joke. And in one of the games, you go up, you know, there's double battles. Uh-huh. What, you get a double battle, and it's uh, it's a couple. Uh-huh. And the dude brings out an onyx. Right. And, uh, oh, shit, we already get past that. Oh, Dude, fuck. I know what Onyx is. Oh, you know is. Onyx? You don't got it. And the chick brings out a cloister. Oh, so that's, that's pretty good. All yeah. right. Now, the one well, is before one, right. cloister. Yes. Uh, shall we? I don't know, a little cloister. It's probably something really obvious. What's that one? If I said you were half right and this one's name is cloister. Shelster? Shelter. Oh, that's close. All right. What's that one? Oh, God. The three ghost ones. Um, That one's ghastly, right? Yep. Slimer. Slimer? Yeah. That's Haunter. That was fucking obvious. This one. Oh, I know this one. This little creepy purple dude. Which is literally just a freaking Haunter with legs. More or less, yeah. And red eyes. Yeah. And different teeth. Different shaped head. Other than that, yeah. Like, okay, my brother, okay, Zach has this, it's a it's a list he's printed off with pictures of all the Pokemon on it, and my little brother has come in here and written under this Pokemon, Zach Fag. So we're going to call him Zach Fag, and we're just going to leave that there. Uh, and he was really proud of it, too. Like, he thought yeah, it was like, real funny. Yeah, like, he thought funny. he was so clever. <laughs> <laughs> Zach Fag. This one here? Onyx. Yeah, that one. Drowsy. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's got his little put you to sleep thing. The pendulum. Or his hypnotized you thing. Yeah. Um. It actually, looks like it's just a washer attached to a string. Let's go, droopy. Droopy. Drowsy and droopy. It's hypno. Ah, uh, it was a freaking easy one. I even said he hasn't got a thing that hypnotizes you. Oh, what's this okay. one? I think this is another stupid one, like seal, right? Isn't that crabby? I thought that was crabby. Wow. But isn't there one that's really called Krabby? Yeah, this one. That one. <laughs> and I gave... Wow, I called one Krabby earlier. What's that one? Ugh, oh, God, I don't know what the big Krabby is. They all... A lot of them have hints. Built in. I don't know. Let's go Pinchy. Pinchy and Krabby. Pinchy? Kingler. I wouldn't have, oh, he's got a little crown. Yep. I still wouldn't have gotten it. That one. They both look like Pokemon. They're literally just the opposite. That one's um, bigger. Oh, it's bigger. Oh. And he's opposite. Um, 
Is that one like Electro Buzz or something? Electro Buzz, is that what you're going with? Yes, for that one. Electro Buzz. Now what's it called? Nope. It's a Voltorb. Voltorb? Yeah, what's that one? Electro Buzz? I could have sworn that was one of them. So you're going with Electro Buzz again? No, no. Like you think that one's Electro Buzz? Voltorb? Electro Buzz. I could have sworn that was one of them. So it's Electro Buzz? Yes. What, what are they called? What's that one called? Electrode. Electrode? What? Where do I get Electro Buzz? That doesn't even... That sounds... I don't know. All right, here's what we're going to do, Caleb. All right. Because I really want to get to the rest of these ones, like, real bad. I don't want to do So this. we're going to talk about something else. No, and then if we, have t- if we have time at the end, like, if we feel like it at the end, we'll just go through the rest of them. There's not that many left. Okay. Because there's, there's reasons why I really want to go ahead. Because you know I'm not going to know any of these ones. You might. This no, you know, know what? We'll save it for next week. All right. Try to remember all the ones you named today. Wait, I used some of the names, didn't I? Did I, like, use some names that are actual names? Is that why you want me to remember? Actually, we're just going to go ahead and name one of them. Which one? The big yellow one here. What, is he Electrobuzz? Are you serious? <laughs> Close. <laughs> Electabuzz. Electabuzz. You went two in a row, and he's right there. Because I was so sure that at least one of them it would it w- would have been Electro Buzz, but now we just have two Electro Buzz, neither of which are actually Electro Buzz. <laughs> ah, that's ridiculous. Oh god! So this one we squandered that one, but I couldn't wait another week, right, to have you say, come up with some stupid name for it, and then me be like, "That's Electro Buzz." <laughs> oh my god! Anyway, we'll finish that one up next week. Are you going to be here next week? Um, I don't see why not. Not going to some other random city in some random state? No, it's not spring break again. Well, should be. I don't time. know when you have spring break. You could have it twice. Yeah, twice. Not in a row, though. No, you wouldn't have it in a row. That'd be one spring break. Yeah. Two, well, like, why would it be spring break, go back to school for a week, spring break part two? I don't know. So your teachers don't have to work, worry about like dealing with your stupid ass all the time. All right, whatever. No, anyway. You like to solve a mystery, Caleb? Sure. Heard about Malaysian Flight 370? Yes, yes I did. Since you seem to be so cocky that everybody knows everything about it, tell me what happened. Some freaking... Where was it leaving from? Oh my god, dude, I don't know, but... Malaysia, where was it going? Well, no shit, it was leaving from Malaysia. I don't know where it was going. Beijing. You know where that is? Beijing? Yeah. It's in like fucking China. China, bitch. All right, how long was it on? How, was it, how long was it flying before it uh, disappeared? I don't know, three hours. Four. So you don't know everything about it. Fucking asshole. Anyway, asshole. for those of you who may not know. There was a plane that disappeared going from Malaysia to Beijing. There's it more to the there story. Four hours. There's more drama. All right. All right. It left Malaysia. All right. Flew for three or four hours. I'm actually not entirely sure how many. I just oh, want to make see, I could have been right. And you could have given to, me shit. I wanted to make a fool out of you. I know what you want to do. Um, it leaves, and then suddenly they lose all communications. Uh-huh. They get nothing back, uh-huh. and it just drops off the freaking radar. So people were trying to figure out where it was. They narrowed it down to a pretty small little area, and then they realize it's not in that area. So you'd think. Like, with these things, typically, the more information you get, the more it makes sense. Mm-hmm. The more information they get, the less it makes sense. The first are like, oh, look, we found these two Iranians on the plane that used a fake passport to get on. So they investigate, thinking they were terrorists, which, this isn't a terrorist attack. A terrorist, terrorists want to strike terror, not... Confusion. Not tickle everybody's imagination. <laughs> who Everybody's like, whoa, what happened to it, man? This is like a real life lost. Well, I mean, there's probably a bunch of people on that plane that, whose family members want to know where the hell they are. That's yeah, but that's pretty, not... That's pretty terrifying. A terrorist attack... Terrorists don't want to scare just the families of the victims. They want to scare everybody. Right. That's the point. Like, 9-11, they didn't just crash a single plane into a field. Right. And a bunch of people like, wow, that's pretty weird. No. They had this huge plan to kill a bunch of people. Right. Yeah. Or you do it at a place that uh, everybody feels safe. 
mm-hmm. or is something like really fucked up, like killing a building full of children, right. like that guy in Oklahoma City. Right. Um, anyway, they're like, maybe they're terrorists. No, it turns out they were just trying to get asylum. Mm-hmm. So that's a thing. And then they, they go and they figure out, like, it after it disappeared, after they lost contact and after it disappeared off the radar, there was a satellite up in space where they usually are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that was, you know what a ping is? Ping is a computer sends it out to, like, a server or something. It, it's just a record that, some, that a computer they're system's like still working. Like they were, like, getting signals after it went off. Yeah, the they were pinging after, like, f- for, like, three hours after. And so they keep pinging. They keep expanding this thing. This search and, they and then they it. found out they, that it kept dropping and gaining altitude and going off course. But there's no evidence that any of the pilots, like the pilot or the co-pilot, had any plan to to do that. Yeah. Right. Right. They know nothing. And now that they've given it up to the uh, the public, They're, they released the the satellite images. Right. And stuff like that. Uh, so people can constantly be monitoring satellite images to see if they can see any um, debris. Yeah, what do you think happened? So, so we could solve this thing, man. What do you think happened? All right, what do I think happened? This is my this is my legit opinion. All right, I'm dead serious. I think that fucking plane went through a wormhole. It's flying through space somewhere. That's what I was going for. Yeah. Or, or, or some fucking aliens had it. Because this is an idea I came up with a movie for it. Right. Where. Plane disappears. Ten years later. See, I was about to bring this up because it says this isn't an original idea. This is a thing. Oh, is it? Yeah, I was like, I was about to bring this up. There's a book that I read. It's, I think it's called Found. I was, I was about to say maybe it's called Lost, but there's no way it's called Lost because it's that terrible show. It's is it called, Lost or Found, Caleb? It's called Found. It's a book Found. called Found. It's a trilogy. I only read the first book, but the first chapter of Found, it's like this plane landing at this airport. And everyone's like, "What? Like, what? what what's this plane?" And they're like, "Well, we're looking at it. it's plane number whatever." And they're like, "No, we, we don't have a plane number whatever." It's like, well, "Why is this plane here? Where's it coming from?" And like, no one's heard anything about this plane. And they get on the plane, and on this fucking plane is like seventy babies. And the twist in the book, spoiler alert: the twist in the book at the end is that these babies are from the future, and it's a time traveling plane, and they just sent all these fucking babies. That's freaking stupid. Yeah. That's like you know anything about Scientology. A very little. They they believe. Actually, the South Park guys got in trouble with the church because they revealed all this stuff, which is supposed to be only if you give them like a few million dollars, they'll tell you. Right. And it's so stupid. The uh, I can't remember his name. Shit. The alien that did all this stuff. Yeah. He sent like prisoners and stuff to Earth in spaceships that look like a freaking Boeing or whatever. Like, it was just a freaking airplane. Yeah. Like, it's not... It wasn't a... It wasn't like... Uh, if you had to compare the spaceship, you would say, it looked kind of like... An airplane. An airplane. No, he flat out says, it looked exactly like this particular airplane. And then he dropped him into a volcano. Right. And then their spirits came out. And that's, and that's where, where we where get all the bad stuff yeah. comes from. But... That's so lame. No, my idea was plane disappears. Right. Ten years later, poof, pops back up. Everybody's like, "Whoa!" You're same on place. The plane, that, have no idea what's going. Same on. place. That, like it just goes <laughs> gone. Comes out ten years later in the same exact spot. Right. And they come down. And everybody's like, "Oh my god! It's been ten years. We had no clue." Blah blah blah. And they're just like, "What do you mean? What's the plot of the movie though? Like, what's the conflict?" I'll get there. Everyone's like, "Whoa!" I'll get there. And the people are like. Dude, it's freaking, it's only been like 10 seconds. Right. I don't know what you mean. No, they went through a wormhole and people find out. It's about, it's about wormholes. The movie's about wormholes. It's about wormholes? Oh, okay. Yeah. So after that, people figure out how they, they managed to get the wormhole and then aliens come. Wow. Okay. That went in a weird direction. Or it can just be a short film. Yeah. <laughs> like a 10 minute film. Yeah. People are just like, whoa, man, what's up? Like an episode of Twilight Zone or some shit. Yeah. See? (laughs) What? Now we need to find a magic plane to go back in time to the 60s and pitch that as an idea for the Twilight Zone. That's a great idea for an episode of Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone 50s or 60s? 
I don't fucking know. It's black and white. Yeah. I think it's sixties. Yeah. I better not be wrong. Brett. Brett, can you hear me? Brett Via. Brett. Brett. You're a huge Twilight Zone fan. Huge Twilight Zone fan. What year did Twilight Zone come out? Twilight Zone come out. Tell me in the comments below. Comments. <laughs> no, Brett, the guy who was on here, right. huge Twilight Zone fan. Yeah, it's a rad show. Yeah, I watched Twilight Zone. They they have like a few episodes on uh, Netflix. Uh-huh. Uh Also, the um, do, 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 Outer Limits. Yeah, it's like the same kind of thing. Isn't That's it? the one. All kinds of funky. Yeah, yeah, it's just an anthology. Like every episode is different. Weird the stories. Outer Limits. And you know, the first one's like, you've just into the Twilight Zone. Yeah. The Outer Limits is the one that starts off, and it's like, like do not adjust. Yeah, there's nothing, yeah, there's wrong, nothing wrong with your television. television. Yeah, I used to watch both of those when I was a kid. It scared the piss out of me back then. Really? Yeah. There's one you need to watch. Where? No, I don't want to ruin the twist for you. What are you talking about? What, 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 for, of what show? Twilight Zone. Is it William Shatner on a plane? No. Oh. <laughs> I've seen that one. Isn't that one good? With the, the gremlin on the, like, on the yeah, wing? Yeah, it's like a freaking thing out on the plane. It's he's, like, wow, this he's is afraid shit. of flying, and he's freaking out. Like, he looks out. And it's just got, it looks like old Greg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's got his face pressed up there, and he's freaking out, and everybody's like, come on, man. Right. Dude, you're just seeing things, and then you start to think he's just seeing things. Plane lands. Right. And they're like, oh, my God, look, something was in the engine. Like, you can see the claw marks. Oh, I might be thinking the movie. I think is... it's because the, they remade it for the movie, the Twilight Zone movie. Right. Um, just, that was. I never saw that movie. Have you seen the? I think it's Twilight Zone. I get them mixed up, the two shows. Anyway, where the um, the hitchhiker. I Dad references it all the time. Yeah, I'm sure he does. I don't think I've, I don't believe I've seen. It. Um, is it really spoilers for something that ended? I just gave out spoilers for that found book, and that came out like within the decade. So I mean, just go ahead. Um. Chick goes on a tr- cross-country trip to California, and she's driving, and everywhere she goes, she sees this, uh, this dude, this hitchhiker, right. and he, like, she starts freaking out. She's constantly seeing him, constantly seeing him, and she, he, she figures out that, like, she thinks he's trying to kill her, right? because every time he shows up, something dangerous happens. Like, he shows up, her car stalls on a railroad track, mm-hmm. all this stuff. So she she decides she's going to turn back around, even though she's almost there. Mm-hmm. She's going to go home. So she calls up her house. Right. And she's like, she's like, so-and-so, is my mom there? And they're like, who? It's like, my mom. Who is this? She's like, it's me. Is my mom there? And she's like, what are you playing at? She died in a car accident. Oh, my God. She was dead, and the hitchhiker was an angel of death trying to take her to the great beyond. And then it ends with her, like, adjusting her mirror, and he's in the back. And he's, like, going my way. That's terrifying. Dad always references that. Uh, I, I, th- I thought it was going to be, like, like she, she kept going places, and, like, and like she keeps avoiding this hitchhiker, and he keeps showing up. And, then, like, he just, like, jumps in front of the car. He's like, can you give me a fucking ride or not? Yeah. I just need a fucking ride. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that one's a good one. Uh, there's one, actually, that none of them are really worth watching. <laughs> anymore <laughs> like you, you'd watch it like I'd build it up be like you need to watch this one it's great and you'd watch it and be like yeah it's pretty good <laughs> but you didn't grow up watching it so uh, no there's this one where it's a it, the whole thing takes place in a hospital room mm-hmm. and it's this chick with her face bandaged up right and apparently she's really 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 ugly you mm-hmm. never see her face you never see anybody's face and it's all in this one room and they keep coming up and she's like crying. She's like, I don't understand. They're like, this is our last chance to save you. Otherwise, we've got to send you to a colony with other ugly people. <laughs> that's, the, that's the laws. We are allowed to try to fix your face, but you're still hideous. And they're like, we have one more chance to fix this. They inject her with this shit. And uh, they take the bandages off. And it, it really, even if you knew, know, no, like I watched it again recently. It doesn't matter if you know the twist because it's still the tension. They remove the bandages, and you see it from her perspective. Mm-hmm. So, it's, first of all, it's, it's almost all black, and you slowly see more. And it's a slow, slow scene of them taking the bandages off her face. And finally, they're like, like people are like, oh my god, she's hideous. And then it shows her face. She's freaking gorgeous. Really? Yeah. And then it starts to show the doctor's faces. They got, like, pig noses and shit. Yeah. So it's, like, in a future where all the... <laughs> 
normal people are freaking ugly, <laughs> and all the beautiful people have to get shipped off to a. Oh, yeah, that's that's where evolution takes us. Yeah. Soon, someday, your great 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 grandchildren are gonna have like pig noses. But yeah, there's some you know. some good episodes. There's one where people start freaking out because aliens are coming. Mm-hmm. And uh, they're like, we gotta do this, we gotta do that. And then everybody's like, no! And they start, like, rioting and shit. And, uh, basically... And it turns out it was just that guy telling a story on the radio. <laughs> um, freaking... Was it like Orson Welles? Orson Welles, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it was it was Orson Welles telling a story from a book written by H.G. <laughs> Wells. Really? That's why I get confused. See, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I knew it was something Wells. I think it's Orson Welles who did that. Yeah, I, I was trying to make a reference there, but I fucked it up. Yeah, the radio show. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so they start freaking out because it's aliens, mm-hmm. and then, uh, uh, the entire time you're under the, uh, at some point you're under the assumption that there are no aliens, right? And then it ends. It's called the monsters are due on Maple Street. It ends. And it pans out to the street sign that says Maple Street, mm-hmm. and you see a spaceship. And there's aliens sitting there. And they're basically like, yeah, we're not going to reveal ourselves. They're just waiting. We're, they're like, they, we let them see us and then let them take each other out. That's brilliant. That is yeah. the most genius writing ever. Isn't it? I have to watch this show now just because are all the episodes? No, there's like two seasons and there's like. There's some really shit ones. There's like a third of the episodes. Uh, I haven't seen any that are really bad. Because that is. That's... Some of them are scary. Some of them aren't. But they all have something supernatural almost with them. That's great. That's genius. Uh, you need to watch that, Outer Limits, and I need to find Tales from the Crypt. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the one with the crypt keep, crypt keeper mm-hmm. at the beginning, like the zombie looking dude who introduces everything, and he's real funny kind of, but he's also creepy. Mm-hmm. He scared me when I was a kid, but I, I thought he was funny. It was weird. Uh, but that's the one that was on HBO. Right. It was one of those, the first, like, big HBO show, and it's it's Twilight Zone, but freaking gory as shit. Yeah. And they can swear and show boobies. That sounds pretty tight. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's like, it's like every week you get to see, like, an hour-long horror movie. And some tit. Yeah. And there's one of those that's, there's one of those that's not supernatural. Yeah. And it's one of the best ones, where it's these, these two guys who just hate each other. Mm-hmm. They're always trying to, like, one-up each other. So they start playing games to see which one's better, mm-hmm. and they slowly get more and more bizarre, where it's like, uh, they go to see who can go longest if they cut each other's fingers off. Wow, so after a while, they just start to go crazy, it gets more and more hardcore. Yeah, and they start to do, like, Russian, I think they play Russian roulette. Oh, that's got to end in a really sad, creepy way. It's weird, like, literally, they're just sitting there, and he's like, all right, he's like, He's like, just do it quickly and cut this guy's hand off. He's like, ah! It's freaking weird. God, that sounds hardcore. And- yeah, I dig those shows. That's what the Halloween movie series was supposed to be. Yeah. Like, it was Halloween, and then Halloween 2, Return of Michael Myers, or something like that. And then the third one was um, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Right. No Michael Myers. It was about... Um, I didn't know. I didn't know that. Something about kids wearing masks and watching TV, and that kills them. <laughs> that sounds dumb. It's actually a pretty, pretty cool movie. It had, it's cool. But then after that... I imagine it's a, at least a little bit cooler than how you just described it. It could have been a good series. Yeah. If they would have done that every year, you just have a random Halloween-themed movie. Yeah, like, okay, now that I think of it, that sounds really cool, because it's just, it's called Halloween. Yeah. And it, yeah, that sounds cool. Because the first one every was supposed year. to be standalone, and they're like, that one was pretty cool, let's make a sequel to it, just pick up right where the first one left off. Right. And then we'll go up back onto the thing, and people were like, there's no Michael Myers in this movie, so they started making, like, ten with See, Michael Myers. See, that would have been so cool, just every year, just a different Halloween theme, like a little standalone thing, that's, that's interesting. Wouldn't that have been cool? That would have been really cool. Yeah, somebody needs to do that. It's too late, I mean... Well, I mean, with another... Seriously, Halloween movies. is already like you hear Halloween, you're like, "Oh, Michael Myers," and you're gonna go see it, and you don't expect to see that. It would be huge. You know how pissed people would be? They made a Halloween movie and no Michael Myers. Well, they made a Halloween movie with a bunch of weird dream sequences, and half the movie, Michael Myers isn't wearing his mask, and he makes weird grunting noises and says things. That's Halloween Two by Rob Zombie. I mean, he doesn't wear the mask for like half the that? movie. I want to say like 2007, 2008. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, I mean, whatever. Rob Zombie's a shit. I just feel like people have certain expectations, and you can't, you can't fuck with shit without people getting mad at you. You like fucked up movies, right? Yeah, yeah, man. Also, I heard Tusk is really fucked up. Yeah. But, um, you need to watch Rob Zombie's movies 
to a lesser extent, House of a Thousand Corpses. Mm-hmm. Pretty good, not mm, not great. But if you really want to appreciate the next one, which is The Devil's Rejects, right? Uh, got to uh, the first one's like it's kind of like a twist on Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Have you ever seen that? No, not all the way through. At least. Uh, well, you know the premise: the kids go weird stuff, go to that house with the psychopaths. Mm-hmm. Um, well, this one, it's same thing. Uh, in House of a Thousand Corpses, it's about a house of, like, screwed up serial killers. Right. One of them's, like, a clown, but, like, a real clown. Mm-hmm. Um, one of them's Rob Zombie's wife. <laughs> um, it's not that great. Yeah. A lot of it's just, like, it just seems like you're watching a really long Rob Zombie music video. Right. But there's a sequel called The Devil's Rejects. Mm-hmm. And that one, they're, like, on, they're trying to get out of there. The yeah. family from the first one. Yeah. Um, but they're, they also get into some shenanigans. Uh, you'll see some of the most fucked up stuff you've ever seen in your life in that movie. It's really disturbing. Yeah. There's like rape, insane, insane amounts of violence and gore, but it's all really good. Uh, but they're getting chased by the law. Right. The entire time. Yeah. You gotta watch it, man. And it's got some weird parts where it gets kind of trippy. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's fantastic. Um, it's got one of, I know it's definitely Ma- one of Max's favorite m- movie lines. It's one of my favorite too, where this, something with, I don't remember what happens with the kid, but the clown guy comes into contact with the kid and he just like looks at him and he's got his clown makeup on and he's like, it's really half-assed clown makeup too. Right. And he looks like a, like white trash like, hillbilly. Like he's like your Joker half-assed? Yeah. Um, well, better than that. Yeah. A little bit. But that's the idea where it's kind of smudging. Yeah. A little bit. And he, like, looks at me and he's like, what's the matter, kid? Don't you like clowns? Aren't we fucking funny? Don't we make you laugh? <laughs> oh, great. my God. There's a scene where they're arguing about whether or not they should get ice cream and what kind of ice cream they should get. Well, there's, like, bodies and shit in their van, I'm pretty sure. Is it, like, horror or comedy? <laughs> kind of. Mm. It's it's just a jacked up movie. You gotta watch it. Yeah, that you gotta watch. Cabin in the Woods, Joss Whedon. Yeah, it's on. It's it's, it's on, on the list. The list. I I don't know if you put it there. I put it there. But I'm mean I meaning to there. watch it. Oh, it's so good, and it's got a really good. People either love or hate the ending. I was gonna watch but it. But if you understand what uh, Joss Whedon was going for, mm-hmm. it's a brilliant ending. But uh, it's a twist on like Evil Dead. Right. Kids go. To the cabin in the woods. Mm-hmm. But the twist is, well, not the twist in the plot. Premises. I'm saying this is something the, that... The twist on the formula. Yeah, the formula is the house is computerized. Right. And there's a group of people whose job it is like every year mm-hmm. or every few years, like they're in this facility, like this science facility, and they've got screens everywhere and they've got stuff to do and they've got a list of things from horror movies mm-hmm. and they control what's going on in the house. Right. And uh, the twist of why they're doing it, fantastic. You won't see it coming. Yeah. But uh, you need to watch that. Actually, I think that movie has tits, and you know what? You see, that's what I was about to say, because I was going to... You I don't was, want Ethan to see tits, do you? Yeah, that's, I, I, I was going to watch it with Ethan last week, because we were watching, looking for stuff on Netflix to watch, but I looked it up, and it had tits in it, so I couldn't watch it with Ethan. I saw tits when I was in there's, there's some, I'm going to say I, but he, he's a bitch. Because so. <laughs> uh, I'd say we'd watch it right now. After the pod, it's so That's freaking it. good. Uh, you won't get most of the references. Like, there's an entire part that's just reference, 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 after reference, after reference. And there's one part where it's just the screen is full of freaking references. Yeah. But uh, you'll get some of them. And it's been, Joss Whedon wrote it in, like, almost real time. It's got, it's like, got, he, he wrote it. He came up with the idea, and he was like, I got to get this down. Made the movie. It's got Chris Hemsworth in it, right? Yes. I think it's like, like Yeah, it's Chris. I couldn't remember if it was him or uh, Liam. Yeah. I am, I am, I wish I was half as beautiful as Chris Hemsworth is, so. <laughs> He's giant. Mm-hmm. He could have played the Hulk mm-hmm. without CG. Yeah, yeah. He's like Ferrigno levels. Yeah, he could have. F- big. F- Ferrigno that bitch. Yeah, so is, what's his face, Captain America. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty, pretty cut. And then RDJ is just like... <laughs> Hey, I'm uh, I'm old. <laughs> uh, I can't wait for Captain America two. 
I gotta read it before I watch it, but I don't think I can because I'm broke. Oh, the Winter Soldier comic? Yeah. I'm pretty freaking broke. Do they have that at Sci-Fi? Probably, but I'm not paying freaking 30 bucks for it. Well, I mean... I'm also gonna have 30 bucks to spend on it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so we want to finish up this no, I do next not. week. Next week, yes, yes. I mean, not now. Next okay. week we'll do that. You're right. Um, we should watch Cabin in the Woods between now and then. Mm-hmm. And... You ask these brosies a question? Oh, yes. Question of the week, guys. Answer it in the comments. Question of the week? Question of the week. Answer the comments? Answer the comments. Stop saying everything I say. I was trying to make it more dramatic because you oh, were doing right. like the echo. Anyway, oh, okay. question of the all week right. this week is, what is, in your opinion, the greatest superhero movie of all time? We'll and leave you with that. It's been Zach Berman. And Caleb Berman. And we are two geeks. Two furious.